day folks look I was just Mark bringing the car back in and I want to show you something guys it's pretty important to note um, any of you guys with even high stall converters that good flowing um, line cooler line is very important because if you don't have a, a nice flowing uh, oil line a cooler line you're going to build up excessive pressure and excessive pressure thrusts forward um, on your converter to an unacceptable level and look a lot of guys are having trouble with this and I just want to demonstrate because of this line pressure gauge I got in here okay now we're, it's in neutral now I'll pop it, I'll pop it into drive alright pretty much basically how it is but look at that when I apply a little bit of throttle it goes up a little bit and that's only a two and a half stall guys and I'm only running the one cooler it's a decent size and I've orfaced all the all the like die grinded all the insides of the mount actually drilled the holes a little bit bigger on the outlets to try and encourage flow without restriction so like I said in that other vid around 60 pound is the cutoff so that's very interesting guys and that sort of cost me a lot of money on that other engine because I ran two extra coolers up the front thinking I was doing the right thing in actual fact I was creating a restriction and that's what was causing the thrust on the converter so mm, a really handy tip to know that for a lot of you guys are making reasonable horsepower you've got to have really good flowing line oil cooler lines to uh, stop getting that excessive thrust all right folks that's griff's little tip for today catch you later